It is time to get cute. That's right, today we have in front of us two booster boxes of the Future Card Buddy Fight Ace set for Bang Dream Girls Band Party Pico. Now, that's, that's quite a mouthful. Um, so presumably, maybe you've clicked on this video and you already know what I'm on about, which if so, that's brilliant. If not, give you a very quick rundown. So, Future Card Buddy Fight. I don't know what Ace specifically is, if that's a different thing, but Future Card Buddy Fight is a spin-off of Card Fight Vanguard, as far as I'm aware. And I think there was like an anime spin-off. And it's its own card game, I think, maybe aimed at younger people. I could be wrong about that. Uh, however, that's not necessarily the reason I bought this booster box. The reason I bought it is because it is themed after Bang Dream Girls Band Party Pico. Now, while I bought these, uh, basically the reason I bought them was they were very cheap. And when I bought them, I was unaware of what Bang Dream was. So I went down a bit of a rabbit hole. I thought, hey, I'll watch the first season of the anime just to find out what it what it's all about. So I'll recognise the cards. And then I played the mobile game, so I thought, hey, this will give me more information. And um, I, I really got into Bang Dream, like, really got into Bang Dream. Um, so much so that I did indeed watch Pico, which is a kind of spin-off series. Uh, as you can tell, they're all very chibi and stuff. They're not usually like this in the anime. This is a, a sort of slice of life anime. Each episode is three minutes. There's like 26 episodes in the entire thing, so... You could probably marathon in just over two hours, I think. I'll even I'll leave a playlist to the videos below. They're all officially on YouTube. Um, from Bushy Road, which is the producer both of Cardfight Vanguard and uh, Future Future Card, and the anime itself as well. So I'm going to take a quick look at the box, and then we'll open it up because we've got two to get through. So this is the trading card game, Future Card Buddy Fight Ace Ultimate Booster Cross Volume Two. Don't know what volume one was with, maybe it was a different anime, I, I don't know. Uh, this is my first delve into Future Card, or any um, any of the Vanguard kind of things. So there's seven cards per pack. Uh, this is the rarities we're looking for. So there are five uh, extravagant rares. There's uh, five, six, I think that's a six special rares. And there's 20 super rares. And then below it, there's triple R's, there's 5. Double R's, there's 12. Rares, there's 13. And uncommons is 24. So there's, I believe, 91 cards in all. There's 10 packs in here, and there's 91 cards. So, to be fair, between these two booster boxes, I'm probably going to get most of the set, which is pretty cool, because I think I paid about £10 or just over for both of these combined. And so these are examples of the cards. As you can see, they're all chibi and stuff. That is Marina, she owns Circle, which is the live house they play in, and that's uh, Circle Starry Night. And that's the top, and that's the like, website you can go to and stuff. So yeah, without much more rambling, let's get into it, I suppose. So, I've actually just finished watching all of Pico. Um, as I said, you can technically marathon it in sort of two hours or ever, but I, I kind of... I savoured it, you know, I watched a couple episodes every night, uh, you know, like three or four episodes, either before bed or just when I was like relaxing and stuff. It's quite a good series. <laughs> it's surprisingly dark uh, as well for a series that's all about cute girls doing cute band things. Uh, there are lots of references to potential death. Right, so let's open this up. Hey, there we go, and I'll even make it all display-like. Uh, hang on, BRB. Oh, look at that, professional. Yeah, that's very cute there, and indeed we have our ten. Ooh. First, we have this, which is... Ah, cool, this is the uh, advert, so this is, if you guys wanted to watch uh, Future Card Buddy Fight, it is all on YouTube, on uh, their channel and on the back there is also all the can't fight vanguard episodes on their youtube channel i'm pretty sure they're in dub only um i started watching the first episode of this actually because i have a friend who's watched some of this and said it's pretty good um it is a very long series so i will eventually get into it because i do love me some card games but that's really cool uh and oh ah we have box toppers don't we yes okay so i do believe that is 
Hey, sorry, I kind of let it focus then and had to look at it myself. I think, I'm pretty sure that's Afterglow. Um, that's Mocha, Ran, uh, Tomoe, uh, Hiwari, I think her name is. Uh, so I think there's two, yeah, there's two plants here. So we'll open this up, I guess. Um, yeah, I completely forgot they come with box toppers. So this is quite exciting. Right, let's see. So that's a uh, band card. It's not hollow or anything, but that is... Indeed, Afterglow, I do believe. Hey, there we are. And that's, uh, that's Bang Dream Girls Band Party Pico. So I guess uh, you can get one of many cards or whatever, but that is all of Afterglow and stuff. So this this kind of looks, to be honest, ooh, wrong way, this looks like a card or illustration you'd find in the mobile game. Uh, I do love the artwork and stuff. And Oh, okay, cool. So this... I guess it's not playable because obviously, yeah, no, that, that would make sense that, that you couldn't play that. That is a playable card though and there's loads of effects and stuff. I'm not going to bother trying to work out how this works for now, but that is very cute. And oh, oh, yo, we, <laughs> we have Ran and Himari, I do believe. Oh, okay, this is just Octopus Towel, Ran Mitake. That is, oh my god, that's really cute. So Ran is one of my favourite girls, I think. Um, oh, yo. Okay. Okay, interesting. So we've got, so the first one obviously is a future uh, future card buddy fight card, obviously. Because they're all, um, they're all chibi and stuff. And this is a Weisschwartz uh, card. That's really cool. Okay, so obviously Bushy Roll produces Weisschwartz as well, but... That, wow, okay, <laughs> so I don't know how many of these promo cards there are, but I am really happy with that. I love Ran, she's one of the, my favourite Bang Green girls. I'm just going to double check if this is like a promo of some kind. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I don't know how the rarities work. Also, it's kind of cool to see there's actually some Japanese written on here, but it is indeed Afterglow, as you can tell there, and Ran is the... Uh, I was going to say front man. Front girl, I guess, is how you'd say it. But yeah, that is, damn, that is definitely getting sleeved and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Let's put the box topper to the back with this advert. Uh, actually, I'm going to slide them back in here. Always good to protect you girls. And let's actually get in to the meat and potatoes. Uh, don't think there's any meat or potatoes. Uh, Haguri, I think, from... Hello Happy World, doesn't she run a croquette, or her family run the croquette shop? Uh, anyway, we've got 10 packs I do believe, oh look at that. So, uh, we're going to open this up. Now, I'll probably be splitting this into two videos to be honest, because we're almost 10 minutes in already, and we haven't even opened the first pack yet, so we'll take a very quick look at the pack. Same art as on the back, uh, same rarities and stuff, we're not going to go into that again. And yeah, so I'm going to try, uh, actually, do you know, I'm going to get a scissors, BRB. Alright, so I've got a scissors, but for the first pack, I'm just going to open it like they suggest, I guess. I really don't like opening packs like this, because it never opens correctly, it never feels right, because you've got to kind of keep tearing it down the side and stuff. But, uh, so, oh god, okay, yeah, I don't know how... These cards work exactly. Uh, I know there's rares and stuff. Maybe they're right at the back. Maybe they're middle. Um, you know, we're, we're going to open a pack first and then we'll go from there. So, first up, we have Sayo. We have Sadness Metronome Sayo Hikawa. Very cute. Uh, I don't remember which episode specifically these are. So, the back of this is actually a bit different as well. It's got a bit of a texture. So, I. Genuinely, I don't even remember that from any episode. Oh, Idle Surfboard Chicken Race. Yes, I remember. They had to stop on the edge of a thing uh, to prove who was the best band or who was the me best member of Pastel Palettes, I do believe. Hey, there we are. That's the croquettes I mentioned. And that is... Kitazawa Mark is the Mark of Vitality. Hagumi Kitazawa. There we are. That is Hagumi from Hello Happy World. Ah, there we are, cool. And it does indeed say the band there and the character there. Cool. I'm learning along with you guys how these cards work. Ooh! Oh, yo! Hello! We've got some kind of hollow effect with this card. Very nice. I'll try and check out the, um, 
the 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 rarity of it in a second. This is Pastel Pajamas Party, which I think is the name of the episode when Pastel Palettes have a sleepover and uh, Eve goes a bit mental with a ca card. Yo, hang on. Okay, cool. So we've got. So this seems to be the kind of hollow effect that every card has, I presume. Uh, party at Circle, very cute. We've got lots of the girls there. We've got uh, Saya and Hina. Is it Hina? I think it is. Uh, Kokoro, obviously. We've got uh, Saya there, very cute. Uh, Mocha and Hagumi. No, uh, I can't remember her name from Afterglow. Yeah, we got we got a lot of girls. Very cute. So this looks less of a special hollow effect than that does. As I said, I'll work out the rarities at the end. How are we pulling so many shiny ones? What the heck is happening here? Okay, cool. Uh, next up, we have Blue Rose Blooming in the Peak. At the Peak, Roselia. Uh, probably my favourite band, I think, from Girls Band Party. Uh, they're just really cool. They're kind of goth opera rock band, if that makes sense, headed by Yukina, and uh, Akko is the cutest drummer. Has this been a really good pack, or is this just what every pack has? Why is this so cool? Okay, so this is... Uh... Man! <laughs> okay, sorry, so this is Arisa from uh, Poppin' Party, and this is Sweet and Spicy Personality. Personality? Personality. Yo! Okay, uh, and she's from Popping Party, which is the kind of main band of Bang Dream, I think it's safe to say. And there she is, relaxing. Was that when she was stuck in the box maze in her basement? I can't remember. Hey, and we're back to that. Right, I'm going to go off and try and work out the rarities of these cards now, so I'll be right back. Okay, so first up, this one, with the kind of cool hollow effect, is a rare. These two, with the laser effect are also rare. I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, right, okay, what's the third one? And this one is a double rare. That's very cool. Okay, interesting. Well, I've learned something here. I'm going to put these back in the pack now. All right, I'm no closer to enlightenment there. Um, I've just had a quick look at the rarity thing again. Still not fully sure, I'll be honest, uh, what makes the different hollow effect, because the... Uh, Pastel Palette Pajama Party one was also a rare, so why are the other two different rares? There's like laser kind of stuff? I don't even know. Man, I've not opened this very well. Anyway, uh, oh, hey, that looks like the title card for uh, Girls Band Party Pico. There we are. Nice. That's, that's cool. Uh, nice to have the title card, I suppose. <gasps> oh, yo! Okay. Oh, we got tie. So Tai, 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 oh Tai, um, she is very into bunnies, that is, that is adorable. Chasing rabbits in the garden, Tai Hanazawa. She is the best girl in, uh, in Poppin' Party, for sure. Hey, and we have, oh okay, we, we have Afterglow, but Hagumi is in, oh, this is when she was, an she wanted to be an idol, isn't it? Light and Cute Classic Rock Spirit Band. There we go. Yeah, there was an episode where she mentioned she wanted to be an idol and hinted at maybe being part of Pastel Palette. So that's very cute. That's, uh, I don't think I ever featured in the series, though, right? That was just like a running joke, I think. Oh, Tomoe from uh, Afterglow. Very nice. We've got Ramen Broth Caring Sister, Tomoe Udagawa. That's... Uh, Akko's older sister, the drummer for Afterglow. Um, right, next up. Okay, cool. So we got Hina in a bikini. Uh, genius next door, Hina Hikawa. Just Sayo's uh, sister from Pastel Palettes. Very cute. This is when they went to the beach, I believe. There was a beach episode or something. Oh, they're slightly sticking together. Sorry if you're seeing peaks of what's next. Uh, what even is that? Circles... Oh, Circles Collapse, yes! Okay, so I literally just watched this episode. Um, yeah, at the end, Circle literally collapsed. Uh, and they were all having a Christmas party inside, and then Kokoro and Michelle were billowing fake snow or something. It's very strange. Ooh! Okay, we got Chisato. So, Smiling Iron Mask Chisato. 
Shirasagi. Okay, I didn't know her last name, but she's from Pastel Palettes as well. Uh, that's also from the Beach episode, I think, so I've got two Beach episode cards there, and that's a double R. Yeah, boy, okay, cool. Uh, so wait, hang on, we pulled a double R, what's the next one then? Oh, okay, oh, wait, did I miss a card? Three, four, five, six, no, okay, I didn't. Fair enough, okay, cool, so that's two double R's. That's not bad, and they're both different. Uh, yeah, nice, okay, well... So it seems the girls from every every band are going to be there. Um, I pulled a tie, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I've got the the special ram card as well, so that's uh, that's pretty nice. I'm trying to think. I'd like a Michelle card from Hello Happy World, I guess. Uh, ooh, Ackle from uh, Roselia. There we are. I'd quite like an Ackle card. So, oh. <laughs> Right, okay, hello, happy Sky Jam. Right, this episode is possibly one of my favourites. Uh, Kokoro plans a sort of skydiving thing with Hello Happy World. Um, and it's implied Michelle dies at the end, because everyone has their backpack apart from her. That, oh, that was a great episode. Honestly, th this entire series, as I said, I've left the playlist at the bottom there. If you guys want to just, like... Watch it slightly weird but kind of wholesome uh, chibi anime for two hours. You can go a lot worse. Twin Rhythm, we've got a Hina holding on to Saya. Uh, Sa Sayo, sorry, Say Saya is the drummer. Uh, very cute. Uh, does it say. Oh, wait, yeah, this is from an episode, wasn't it? Let's go somewhere fun together. And uh, uh, Sayo said, No, I can't. I got rehearsal. And can't quite remember what happened, but they made up in the end because they're cute. Hey, we've got. <laughs> Got Rimi eating a chocolate uh, chocolate coronet or choco coronet, obviously. Coronet at first sight, Rimi Ishigome. It's uh, Rimi's very cute and horribly addicted to chocolate choco coronets, and potentially at the end of one episode turns into a choco coronet. Very... Wait a <gasps> Yo, Yukin Yukina. Okay, got new band. <laughs> yes, I remember. New band members. Neighborhood Stray Cat. Uh, and I believe it featured like a three star card for the game called uh, Neighbourhood Stray Cats. And that was very cute. Unfortunately, I don't think they ever added that to the game. But uh, I don't mean made a great like April Fool's card or something. I don't know. Uh, right. Hey, up and coming superstars. Popping party. Very nice. That's a rare, I do believe. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So it seems you guaranteed like two rares in a pack. And there's only 20 rares. So we're going to pull a lot of multiples. Unless... Statistically, we pull two rares for each pack, and they never duplicate. Then we'll have every rare in the set. Uh, which, so far, I haven't had any duplicates. So we've got... Uh, yes! Okay, yeah, so... That, uh, so, right, Spirit, Ban Bono, uh, Babanbo's prayers. So Ram got sick, and Mocha mentioned a sort of... A South American god that she worships. That yes, that see the the series is just strange. It's it's delightfully strange. Oh, yo, hello. This has a very nice effect. Right, first. Oh man. Oh my goodness. The text is thing as well. So this is Kasumi from uh, Popping Party. Oh hi oh, Good morning. Uh, yo, this is a cool looking card, man. Right, what rarity is this? Hey, this is a triple R. Let's go. Okay, then. Now, I know there's, like, talk of extravagant rares and stuff like that. I do not know what what that is. Uh, I don't know what that looks like. But a triple rare. Let's go. I will take that. Kasumi is very adorable. And there's Ram's face in the background. Can't quite remember what episode this is from or anything. But, oh, that's fantastic. All right, then. First triple rare, and we're only three packs in. Oh, man. Um, so I don't know if any of these cards are, like, worth a lot or whatever. I'm guessing by the fact that I've bought two booster boxes for, like, £5 each. Uh, is that, like, a Christmas sale at the end of last year? I'm assuming the reason they were reduced is that no one was buying them or whatever, which is fair enough. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. Right, okay, the, ah, okay, so we've got Rimi, um, Ghost Story Cornet Loop. Uh, 
Oh yes, okay, right. So this is this is literally the episode where Rumi turns into a choco coronet uh, at the end, and she's on life support. Um, but she lived as she died as a choco coronet. Uh, we have Michelle Land. Hey, this is another really dark uh, Hello Happy World episode where Kokoro creates Michelle Land, and they leave with Michelle. But do they leave with the right Michelle? So there's a ah ah. I saw the top. I got excited for a Michelle card. I mean, it's not bad, I suppose. Um, out of control machine nerd Maya Yamato from uh, Pastel Palette. She is obsessed with technology. Uh, no, uh, equipment and gear, isn't it? She's cute. Is she the drummer? I I don't care. <laughs> yeah, boy. Right, that's what I mean. Um, so this this is the sad fate of Rumi. Uh, F in chat, boys. Uh, body made of coronet. Uh, coronet. Yeah. Right. I mean, she's sad, but, you know, that that was her fate, I suppose, wasn't it? Uh, right, okay. Well, the next rare is Pastel's Pyjama Party. Okay, I think we've pulled a dupe there. Fair enough. Lots of lasers. I do like, I like the laser effect of rares. Hey, we've got a... Uh, Pastel palettes, we've got light and airy idle band, pastel palettes, yay, there they all are. Having Yeah, she is the drummer, there we are. I think I'm writing this. Yeah, no, Eve is, no, Eve's the keyboardist, isn't she? Yeah. So, uh, I is the drummer. Uh, ooh, yo. Okay, so this is like a different hollow effect, is this like an extravagant or something? This is revolution. Oh, is this when... Yeah, when Roselia were meeting up in a dark room and everyone kept interrupting. Uh, Asko, what, what rarity, rarity is this? Oh, so this is a double rare. But, I don't know, I swear that looks different to, like, other double rares I've pulled, right? No? Maybe it's just me? I don't know. Or maybe, like, this is, you know, extravagant or whatever the other kind of rares are, but I'm just not working out. Um, if I do work out the rarity or whatever, I'll leave it at the bottom of the screen here. Uh, but, I don't know. Uh, again, I'm sorry, this is my first foray into bush Bushy Road uh, card games and stuff. So, Right, fifth pack. We're half the way there. And I do apologise if you're watching just with hope that I'll burn through this booster box and just show you what I got, because... I'm just having fun looking at all the uh, the cards and stuff, really. Uh, you know, I've, I've got a limited appeal for my videos. Uh, I enjoy them. So, so, so that's one person. Uh, right, we have Samurai Iron Europe. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Samurai from Europe, Eve Wakamiya. She's uh, in Pastel Palette and is well known for her phrase, Bushy Do, and a very cute uh, voice. Yeah, boy, we got an Akko card. Okay. Blackish Fallen Angel, something something dark waves, Akko Udagawa, the small younger sister of Tomoe and uh, the drummer for Roselia. Man, Akko has some skills. Oh, well, obviously, the, the person who. Uh, Roselia is actually, I uh, can't remember their name now, but I think they just do call themselves Roselia, actually. Ah, there we are, so that's the uh, Hagumi Idol one again, light and cute classic, very cute. Oh, Tomoe, have we, have we done this? Oh yeah, Ramen Broth Caring Sister. Did she stop Akko from having very spicy ramen or something, is that it? I can't remember. Thinking about fries, Sayo, yeah, that's... Um, her, her twit. Oh, yeah, that's it, right. She had to go to practice. So, you know, the one with uh, Hina holding her leg? It's because Hina went off to eat some French fries, and because they have a twin psychic link, it kept distracting Sayo, who only thought of French fries. It's very, very cute. Oh, yeah, we got Hello Happy World. There we go. Spreading smiles throughout the world. Hello Happy World. We've got Michelle in the back on the DJ. Um, Oh, I can't remember her name now. The drummer, she's really cute. Why can't I think... Oh, my God. To be fair, there are 25 girls. Um, and this is not including Morphonica, who uh, only recently got added to uh, English. Anyway, yo, let's go. Okay. Wait, what? What? Is this a stamped... What? Hang on. Yo, wait, what is this? 
Cornet at first sight, Rimi Ishigawa. Now, we got this before, didn't we? It was just her eating a cornet. We pulled an SR, boys! An SR! Okay, so I think that is a stamped signature or something, right? It's like a signature card. I've heard that these are things. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a pattern, but that looks like a signature. Holy crap! Oh, that's amazing! I mean, Rimi isn't like my favourite poppy power girl or anything, but... God damn! Right, SR. Let me double check, but I think SR is like super rare, right? Indeed, this is an SR. 20 types. Super rare. So that is... Oh man. That's cool. If there's 20 of these, that is amazing. Like, ah... Oh, this is such a nice card. The like... Ah... Oh, it, it's hard. I hope all the gold is coming out on, on screen, all right, but that's amazing. Oh, that's just... Wow, what a pull. Okay, so, we are five packs in, and god damn, that... Wow, I'm happy now. I, I don't really care where I pull in the next uh, five packs, but... Uh, well, these, these are pretty hype, man. These are... This is what I like in a card game. You know, cards that, like look really flashy and stuff um you know i mean there's got to be balance i don't want every pack having a flashy card because then they lose you know but uh nonsensical one man show kaoru seta from hello happy world fleeting uh she's the kind of bishy standing sort of male bishy guy i suppose Ah, oh, newbie idols commercial with swimsuit oh yeah okay this is the beach episode with Pastel palettes. Very cute. Ah, yeah, it was a commercial they were doing the surfboard thing on, wasn't it? Oh, okay, we've got another sideways one. We've got How to Build Shining Excitement. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait. Is this the one where they had, like, loads of weird ideas? So, like, Casimir wanted to fly and stuff, and Taya wanted to wear lots of rabbit things and whatever. That's... Uh, yeah, and Arisa obviously was not on board with... Anyway, uh, Arisa is very cute, though. She is a sundae. We've got Rallying Misfire, Himari Uehara from um, from Afterglow. we got to call an ambulance. I can't... I can't remember what that was linked to. So that's just a bit concerning. Ah, oh, right, okay, so this is What About the Garlic? So this is when Mocha took Ran to eat some ramen. Ramen... Me, I don't know what that says, that's kanji, sorry. Um, yeah, this is just a three minute short of them literally stood outside a ramen shop and it was very cute. And a lot of the fan base made jokes about how they were dating. Uh, I mean, if there's, if there's ever a couple in Bang Green, it's Ran and Mocha. Uh, un undeniable. We've got Great Ordinary, Sugumi Han Hanazawa. Um, comments about our concert are up. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, all four of the other Afterglow members got glowing reviews, and um, Tsugumi was is like very average. Or, oh, nice. Okay, we've got a Marina, and she's like the uh, double rare. Okay, so double rares are all like this. I just forgotten or whatever. But yeah, Marina is like one of the secret best girls of Bang Dream. She's very hardworking, and you know works in circle, which is very nice. Right, okay then, so we're more than halfway now. I hope you haven't fallen asleep or, uh, you know, or clicked off the video. If you have clicked off the video, then well done for, for, for viewing this still, somehow. Unless, oh yo, doesn't it, actually yeah, if you view on browser, this will play in another tab. So if you've done that as well, that's really nice, because you're giving me a view. Um, Right, ah, oh, yeah, rock and roll, rock and roll, baby, dudes. So that's, uh, oh, that, that's literally following on from Hagumi, no, no, is that Hag I can't remember her name. Tsugumi, not Hagumi, sorry. Yeah, so this is following on that same episode when she got, she was told she was pretty plain, so she changed her look. Hey, Bear DJ, Michelle, there we go. That's what I wanted. She's a DJ, she's a bear. Who else do I want now? Um, I mean, I'd like a RAN card. I know we got the promo thing from Weisschwartz, but I'd like one from this set, uh, maybe. Clothes for a new Holy War? I... 
Oh, yes, yeah, okay, sorry, yeah, this is Roselia, isn't it? And uh, Yuki now wanted, like, she wanted new outfits, I think. Um, oh, actually, I'd quite like... <laughs> ah, Choco Coronet, uh, Remy again. Quite like, um, oh, who's the keyboardist for Roselia? I'm really blanking on names today, I'm really sorry. We've got Popping Party Appears! Ah, yes. They smash through the window. That's, that's how you make an entrance. Poor Circle. It's been through a lot. No wonder it collapsed at the end of Pico. Uh, ooh, ah, there we are. We have a moving max scale. Rinko Shirakane. There we are, Rinko. Hey, I really like that. Rinko's cute. Uh, we got an Akko as well, don't, don't we? So, yeah, there we are. Nice. Uh, ooh, yo, let's go. We've got a triple rare, I do believe. And this is... So shiny, it's barely coming across. It's Bouncy Ego Search. Ah, yeah. Uh, obviously from uh, Pastel Palette. Very cute. She's the, the leader. Uh, that's the beach episode as well. And this, I do believe, is a triple rare. Very nice. There we go. Well, hey, we... Yeah, we've pulled some pretty good triple rares and stuff. I'm still, man, I'm still buzzing from that uh, Rimi secret rare. Super rare? Secret rare? Yeah, super rare, wasn't it? Not secret rare. Um, man, I mean, you're probably only going to get one every booster box, maybe, but, you know, we'll see. We've got Michelle again. Very cute. All right, we got Hello Happy World plummeting to their death again. We are, yes, we have the surfboard challenge again. Hey, there we are, Crockett from uh, Hagumi. Very nice. I do keep forgetting her name, I'm sorry. Thinking about fries. Rare, Sayo. Oh, oh. I missed one. I'm very sorry. Oh, okay, it's uh, Hello Happy World again, a rare. Hey, and we've got a double rare of Live House Circle. Sekuru. Sekuru. Um... That probably says something as well. I'm oh, sorry, my, my uh, hiragana isn't as good as my katakana, I will admit. But yeah, that's a double rare of, of the, the place, uh, the place to collapse, actually. It's quite mildly morbid. You can get a card of it. Well, it, it's also slightly weird that it's like the sign of circle and not a picture of circle, but I don't know. Uh, right, so we have two packs left. Hey, there we are. We have Twin Rhythm again. So I think we're, we're pulling a lot of uh, dupes now. Hey, Samurai from Europe. Eve Wakamiya. We've got... Uh, ah, Clothes for a New Holy War. Yeah, that's Yukina flying away. Uh, she looks a little bit like Enterprise from, uh, from Azua Lane. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy I have three of these cards. That's... It's fantastic. That, that's the type of card I'd give to a friend with no context. We, ooh, okay, we have uh, Labyrinth Jellyfish. Can, Canon! There we are, Canon, the drummer for Hello Happy World. Canon's very cute. Labyrinth Jellyfish. It's easy to lose track of you, Misaki-chan. I do not. Is that when they went to Michelle World? I can't remember. Oh, we've got Tank. Well, Tunk. Uh, okay, I know it's when Yukina picked up lots of cats and brought them to practice, but is Tunk... What? I don't... Okay. Hey, oh yeah. Go my way, Mocha Auba. Yeah, Mocha definitely goes her own way and keeps offering people to warm up milk. That's another, that's another reference. Mocha's very cute as well. Uh, after Ran, she is best after Glow Girl. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I'm pretty, pretty safe in saying that. I think uh, Tomoe as well is very cute, but I think Mocha, you know, I'd, I'd say she's almost on level with Ram because whilst Ram is cute, Mocha everyone loves for her personality, uh, and Ram because she is cute. Right, ah, now our last pack. Can we pull something good to end this video? Oh, well, we start with an Akko card, so things... Uh, are already looking pretty, pretty high up. Uh, let's go with uh, Cornet at first sight. There we are, right, so that's like, that's the uncommon, and I guess you get super rares of some of these. Yay, we've got cat band members for Roselia. Roselinia. Yeah, I get it, because, no, that was terrible. Wait. Yo, wait, what? 
That's hot. Have I been pulling hollows and not realising them? So this is this is a rare it's like a hollow or whatever. Oh man. Oh, I'm really sorry to all the viewers there. If I've been doing that. Okay, our well, first like uh, laser rare is Fermentation Girl Saya Yamabuki. Oh okay. Oh but I did find a cute snare case. Say it's cute, no? Fermentation girl? That seems like a bit of an insult. Hello. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, sorry. I thought I saw something gold there, but no. Classic rock, rock among childhood friends. Afterglow. Yeah, boy. So I got an afterglow card along with an afterglow card. I keep showing that upside down. <laughs> okay, and our. Oh, that's adorable. We have Rescuing Kokoro, which um, happens at the end of the last episode, as they plummet to their death from the top of Circle. Ah, oh, that's very cute. Alright then, well, there we go. That, uh, wow, that's been, that's been a journey, hasn't it? Well, there we go. So, I'm going to go uh, put these to the side now and stuff and grab this booster box and we shall get on to that in part two so uh look forward to that coming up at some point soon hopefully in a day af a day or two after i've uploaded this i don't know but right uh, until next time goodbye